Hey guys, this is Wendy with loveandstampin.com. I'm so excited that you're here with me today. We're going to start out by, I wanted to show you these little color swatches that I keep. These, um, I actually got this idea from Jennifer McGuire and um, I made them on six by six sheets that I had printed. So every once in a while when I run out of an idea for a color combo, I lean to this. So I decided on the one that had the lobster in it and I'm stamping all the colors that I picked together first so that I can make sure that I like the colors. I do want to just show you this process because this is something I actually do often and I never show this part. Um, I do this because I need to sometimes see the colors together to decide if they work. So in this case, it, I'm glad I did it because I ended up not really liking the Just Jade. And I wanted to use something in its place, which was ended up being Bermuda Bay. You'll see that here in a second. And so I'm using Real Red, Calypso Coral, Coastal Cabana, Bermuda Bay, which I'm going to stamp right now, and Evening Evergreen. The other benefit to doing this is that when you stamp them, you can see my Evening Evergreen fish, my Coastal Cabana fish and my real red fish need to be re-inked. The, the ink pads need to be re-inked. So I wouldn't have known that if I didn't see it stamped. So this is a great tip for you before you start stamping. If you have ink pads that you've not used very much or that you haven't used in a long time or even ink pads that are new, Generally speaking, a brand new ink pad is fine and it's good to go, but every once in a while you get one that just hasn't been inked all the way or needs a little bit of touch up. So I added ink to my Real Red, my Coastal Cabana, and my Evening Evergreen so that I knew I would get really nice, even uh, images when I stamped them on my card. So I wanted to just quickly show you that process. Um, we're using the Seascape bundle and the diorama dies, and we're going to make some really beautiful cards. I have one full card and then like a couple little tips from a couple of other cards, and then I'll show you some photos at the end of all three of them that I made. I kind of got on a roll and just kept making stuff. It's been a really long time since I created, and I was really in the mood to create when I did these, and I think it shines through with all of these cards. So we're going to skip back and forth between story time and the cards because that's how I roll. That's how my channel is. So if you're new here, first of all, welcome. If you are not interested in hearing stories about life and how things go in my life, then um, I might not be the right channel for you. And I'm giving you the heads up right now. Just because uh, I know there's a lot of people, I'm unusual. Most people who do card making videos focus solely on the cards and everything they're stamping where I do chit chat while I stamp. And for those of you that have been following me forever, probably get super tired of hearing me say that. But for people who just have found me, it's important that I, I clue them in so they know what they're getting into, right? It's a commitment. Uh, watching my videos. It is. It's a commitment. So here I'm just background stamping this, which frankly, this alone, I think is beautiful. Like, like if you did nothing else, I think it's really pretty. But my goal here is to use all of the colors that we chose for the color splash, those five colors, and um, layer all my pieces together and make a really beautiful card. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to use them all. So I stamped those little bitty fish in Calypso Coral. I stamped that seaweed and evening evergreen, and then I used Coastal Cabana for all the bubbles that you see, which are so super cute. Bermuda Bay is the um, piece that is layered onto, and then I made this frame to go over the top. Now, I really want to show you quickly how I made the frame. I basically took two um, diorama dies. And I lined them up together and I used post-it note tape to hold them together. And then I ran it through my um, stamp and cut machine and I got a little frame to go over the top of this. So the reason I did this is because I knew it would give it some dimension to pop it up on top of that white piece and look layered. And then it kind of cleans up and finishes off the edges of that white piece. 
The piece at the bottom, that little seaweed piece, is cut out of Coastal Cabana at cardstock. That's one of the die cuts. And then the little red fish, which look like little demon fish, if I'm being totally honest. Um, those were cut out of real red cardstock. Uh, I, I found this a little funny as I was putting it together. I started giggling at these little fish because they look demonic to me. They're like red and their eyes creepy and I was like these look like some sort of animal flesh eating crazy fish but then I added a googly eye because adding a googly eye to anything instantly makes it cute I don't care what it is put a googly eye on it and it transforms the thing into this adorable little thing so here, look, you can see like the top fish looks super cute. The other two fish look super creepy. And then as soon as I add the other googly eyes, now I just have adorable little fish swimming in the ocean. Um, so I was really just trying to create a fun little ocean scene here with little fishies swimming around and something that felt really cute and happy and made you feel like you were looking at something in the ocean. Then we're going to layer this piece on, but before I put glue on the very bottom, I leave a little hole so that with no glue, so that I can tuck that seaweed piece um, into the bottom and then glue it down. So you'll see me do that here. Okay, speaking of fish and the ocean, I have some untold Hawaii stories that I personally think you're gonna get a major kick out of. Now, you may not, you may be like, that's not funny. But I found it hysterical. So um, there's a lot of them. I may not be able to get through them all while we do this today, which is fine because that just means there's a time, a story time for another time. But um, I wanted to start with, I don't know if any of you have this problem, but I'm a klutz. By nature, I just struggle with walking. Um, I struggle with coordination. I've never been the athlete. I'm not that girl as much as I wanted to be when I was younger. Uh, no, not that girl. Um, I, I'm really good at card making and crafting and organizing. That's my strong suit. My strong suit is not coordination. So while we were in Hawaii, we had some of the best laughs over my fault, my craziness, basically like Let's see. The first injury was on the second day that we were there and we went to Lahaina because we rented a car and we only had a car rental for like two, two full days, basically. So we got there on a Monday, we rented a car, which by the way, we had to stand in line for two hours to get the car because there was one person working in the Hertz rental car place. And there was this dude behind us that was super rude to the lady. It was bad. And after two hours of waiting in the heat and the humidity, because there was no air conditioning in this place, we finally get a rental car. Um, we take off in the car. And if you've watched my Hawaii video, you see my bestie say in the video, um, oh my God, I'm doing it. I'm driving in Hawaii. Like it was so cute. And so we get in the rental car and we take off. So we knew that we wanted to spend Tuesday all day in Lahaina shopping because we had the rental car. So Lahaina was about 40 minutes from us. I'm sorry. We did that on Wednesday. I'm lying to you. So Tuesday, um, Tuesday, we actually went searching for some different things. So first we wanted to go to this place called Twin Falls. We get there. The parking lot is full. So we find this little area to park away from the parking lot area. We walk to the parking lot and the guy tells the people in front of us, uh, yeah, no, you can't come here unless you are parked in the parking lot. And there were legit like 15 spaces in the parking lot. So I don't know what time you had to get up in the morning to get there to go to that place. But we were there at like 930 in the morning and it was already full. So whatever. So we never got to go see that. I guess that means we have to go back to Hawaii, right? Okay, this finishes this card, by the way. I um, used Versamark ink and white heat embossing to do the sentiment and that card's done. 
So yeah, we're totally going to run out of time in this video. Okay. So here I'm doing some ink blending because we're going to die cut this fish. And I want to show you how this fish die cuts. Not being super careful with my ink blending, by the way, because it didn't matter. And I'll, you'll see why. So Wednesday, we go to Lahaina and we go shopping, which has like the biggest shopping center I've ever seen in my life. You probably could shop there for two days straight and still not see everything. It was crazy. So see how it die cuts out. Now, all of these little pieces are supposed to pop out, but I don't want them to. I want them to stay in for texture. The fish doesn't actually cut out. It's not meant to, but I want it cut out. So all you have to do is go around and snip it out and it snips out very easily. So then you have this little die cut fish. So that's what we ended up with. Okay, moving forward. So um, anyway, we go to Lahaina, we park and we see that it's a three hour parking area. We forget that it's a three hour parking area. We go shopping, we go to lunch, we go do all these things. We come back and have a ticket on our car. And there's more to the ticket story because this one lady told us like, oh, the tickets can be really expensive. So we're thinking like $500, $1,000 and we're freaking out. We get back to the car, we get the ticket, it's on the car and it was 60 bucks, which we're from California. So it costs $60 to park in downtown Sacramento or downtown San Francisco. If you're parking there for a few hours, it's $60. So we really weren't phased by it. We're like, yeah, we're from California. We're good. Like if this does not shock us. And if probably if you live in any big time city uh, area, which we live fairly rural, but we, we go to these areas occasionally. Well, not anymore. I never go to San Francisco now. It's nasty, but I used to, um, and I'm sorry if you live in San Francisco, but y'all's city is bad. It's gross. Like the, the last time I was there, I was floored by how filthy it was. I, I just couldn't believe it because it's always been a pretty clean city. And I, I just made me want to cry. Anyways, I digress. Let's get back to Hawaii. So we're in Lahaina. We get the ticket. As we're walking out to the car, my friend opens the trunk and lifts the trunk. But it's like the trunk didn't go all the way up. It still was like down a little bit. And I totally ran my head directly into the trunk. So right at my hairline, like right below my hairline in the very center of my forehead, I smashed my head into the trunk and it would hurt so bad. Like I was fighting back tears because you know, when you do something like that, how it's almost like your eyes just start watering. You can't help it. And so, and I was mad when I have something like that happen, I get angry instantly. And I'm sure that's an issue I need a therapist for. Trust me. I need a therapist for a lot of things. But when I, ha when I get hurt, I get very angry. So I was about to like curse like crazy. And we're almost at the end of our time. I will add photos to help us extend this time. Okay. So, um, cause I ended up n finishing off this fishy, um, card and then I did a whole nother card, which I didn't video, but here, look how cute this is. Isn't that cute when you keep all the pieces in? Okay. So anyway, um, so that was my first injury. Then I kept, I wore flip-flops the next day that I kept tripping on, like they would catch on the floor then I went to the swimming pool and because I'm self-conscious about my legs and my butt, I will only wear like swim shorts. I won't wear a normal freaking bathing suit, which I have no idea why, because I can tell you all there's people in Hawaii and everywhere else that wear bathing suits with everything hanging out that don't have no business with everything hanging out. And I'm like, why am I so self-conscious? But I am because I don't think everybody needs to see my butt flap and my cellulite. So I'm like, let me cover it and wear shorts to protect the innocent. Okay. So I wear swim shorts. Well, they have like a hardy material. So then we have to walk back to our hotel room, which is a long ways. And I get like raw raspberry shafe mark things on the insides of my thighs. Yep. That's sexy. I know. So 
got the the unicorn thing on my forehead. I've got the now this next day I've got raspberry like raw things on the insides of my thighs. And then um we go I think it was the next day or the same day. It was the same day as I get the the chafing. We went to the pool and I bought this really expensive, really nice sunscreen online from this place that is like reef safe sunscreen, right? So I'm all proud of myself. That crap gave me a rash. So now I've got the unicorn thing on my forehead. I've got raspberries on my thighs, on the inner of my thighs that are hurt like a mother hubbard, I'm going to tell you. And now I have a rash on both of my arms that's like super itchy on the bottoms of my arms. I was a mess, y'all. But my friend was laughing at me so hard. And she's like, you're just a mess. And I was like, this is just my life. Like, I don't even think of it anymore because to me, this is just normal life. I'm, I'm a walking hazard. I feel like I should wear something on me. So anyway, those were all of my injuries. We got a ticket in Hawaii. Um, and I think that that is like the comedy of errors that happened. We, we, we were a mess. We were a mess. Well, I was a mess. Let's face it. Um, but we had a great time and I have more stories from Hawaii, but we're out of time. So I hope you enjoyed these and I hope you enjoyed the cards that I made. They're super easy to make. Layering those cardstock pieces together is really, really easy. Um, just cut a bunch of different cardstock pieces at different widths and lengths and go for it. If you need any of the products you saw here today, you can purchase them in my online store. There's a link below the video to my store. And then there's also links to each individual item. I'd love it if you placed an order with me. Right now, anyone who places a $50 order or more and uses the current host code, which I'll pop on the screen, receives a free pack of in-color gems. And I'll mail those out in July. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And stay safe out there. Bye-bye. <laughs>